Yeah. Neighborhood Cash back with another video. And before I get started, bro, look. I know I just gave y'all a dribble video. I know I just gave y'all dribble six. I know. I know, man. I know. But listen, I would be doing y'all a disservice if I ain't dropped this video right now. Do y'all see what I'm doing, bro? Like, nah, for real, check me out right quick. Speed boost, snatch. Look at the space I'm creating with this combo, bro. Look at the space I'm creating, bro. And every time I do this one combo, bro, nobody can stop it. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up, bro. Like real talk, nobody can stop this move, bro. I have not went against one person where I did this move, bro, and I was clamped, bro. And I put that on everything. You can ask my squad, bro. Like real talk, bro. If my squad won't nice, bro, I really would be dropping all 21 on y'all, bro. But look, I got a great squad, so I don't even have to do that. You know what I'm saying? You see my dog Rich greening up, bro. You feel me? But look, man, I promise I'm about to get right into this video and explain this move. Before I do, I just ask that you please like and subscribe. Comment what you think about it. You know what I'm saying? And once again, I have a lot of videos dropping for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I know it's a lot of things y'all want to learn, and I'm working on all of that. Like, trust and believe I'm working on all of that. I just felt like, like I said, bro, this particular move, I said I need to drop this as quick as I can because it's so simple. But it gets the defense every single time, bro. Actually, that was great defense right there. But you know what it is, man. It's neighborhood cash, man. You feel me? But look, though. Like I said, bro. It's so simple. It gets you open every single time, as y'all can see. And it's so easy to do. Like, you don't have to be no dribble guy to do this move at all, bro. That's the best thing about the move, to be completely honest with you. The requirements, you know what I'm saying, for the animation, you really, like, I feel like any bill can get it. But look, I'm going to break down the requirements. I'm going to break down what I'm using to do this. You feel me? And I'm going to also give y'all, you know what I'm saying, some little extra sauce, like ways I use the move and how I'm able to get open every time with it. You know what I'm saying? So without further ado, we're about to get right into the video. All right, man. So look, here we are. Before I get started, of course, I got to show y'all the move. And here it is. This is the golden move right here, dog. You need to have the LeBron James moving crossover. Essentially, the LeBron James moving crossover is that first, like, fake speed boost y'all see. Because it kind of, it really is kind of like a speed boost, but it don't take adrenaline when you do the snatch back, which is the second part of the combo. You know what I'm saying? But this is the first part of the combo is that LeBron James moving crossover. And as y'all can see, all you need is a 70 ball handle to, to have this moving crossover. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was letting y'all know. I feel like really any build can get this. Like as long as you have a 70 ball handle, I don't even think it's a height restriction for the move. For real, for real. Which is honestly crazy to me with how effective the move is. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to just show y'all my badges real quick just so y'all can gauge what y'all may or may want to have on when you're trying to do this you know i got a silver handle for days and i got a gold quick first up and honestly i mean besides your like speed with ball and acceleration and stuff like that i really don't feel like there's anything else that will like make you do the move like um any faster because the moving crossover itself is already a fast move like it's a fast animation you know what i'm saying so you may not even really need like a silver handle for days, you might be able to get away with a bronze, you know what I'm saying? I would say as long, you just try it, you know, try with what you have right now, and then if you need to make, you know, a couple adjustments, uh, do so, but, like, honestly, though, you, I feel like you can get away with a silver quick first step, you know, uh, like, like lower tier badges than, than what I have, and still be as effective with the move. So, I'm gonna do for y'all, I'm gonna go into the uh, Pro-Am Arena, and just show y'all, you know, exactly how to do it. Um, now, I will say before I get started, um, I did drop a, you know, like a, a slight dribble tutorial um, on my last video in which I did do a hand cam. So in that video, I did explain how to do the snatch back, which is the second part of the move. I explained how to do it with hand cam. So if y'all need, you know, a, a more um, advanced tutorial on how to do the second part of this move, I would just say, uh, feel free to definitely go back to my last video But look, man, I ain't about to hold y'all too long This is the first part of the combo 
That's the moving crossover. All you have to do to do that part of the move, bro, is hold down turbo and flick up on the right analog stick. That's all you're doing. That's the first part. And normally, like, once I do that part of the move, I already beat the defender. And that's what, you know, catches them off guard so crazy because they're playing you close. Once you do this, nine times out of the ten, you're already past them. So, you know, in their head, they're thinking like, ah, oh, dang, dude passed me. Now they're trying to chase you to the rim. So when you hit this move, then snatch back, bro, at that point, it's, it's done. You can get whatever you want. Once you hit that snatch back, bro, you can hit a little moving shot you want to. You know what I'm saying? If you want to run to the rim and dunk, you can do that. But that's what gets them off guard, bro, is that first moving crossover. You know what I'm saying? And then once you snatch back with it, it's too late. By the time you hit the snatch back, it's just too late. Like, simply put, it's really, it's just too late. They're already out of position. So, um, but yeah, bro, that, that's really all it is to the video. That's how you do the combo. You hit that moving crossover first, then a snatch back. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'll try to explain the snatch back to y'all real quick. I just feel like it's better to explain with the hand cam. But in order to do the snatch back, which is, of course, uh, hold on, my bad. That, this snatch back, all you're doing is you want to hold down turbo. And you're still flicking up on the right stick. Now, before the ball crosses over to your other side, all you do is you pull back on the left analog stick. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. Like, that's all you do. You can do it fast. Sometimes I like to, you know, let the animation play out a little bit, then do it. You know what I'm saying? You see how it look kind of glitchy like that way? Like, you know, there's many ways you can do it. You can, like I said, you can do it fast or you can do it, kind of do it slow. But um, that's how you do the snatch back. But yeah, bro, that's the combo. Now, one thing I will also say is once you start doing it to the same side, it does get a little bit predictable. So what I like to do is I'll throw in like, uh, like an extra cross, like right now the ball in my right hand. I'll mess around, flick to the left, then do it. You know what I'm saying? Just to throw them off. Throw some combos in there. Like, like any combos that you would normally do, like you can still do those and then throw that move in. And it's like, it's a wrap. Because it's like, once you do that move, you can really do it. Like as soon as you get the ball, you can dribble the clock out, whatever, boom, hit a snap back. Then once you start doing that move, bro, like it's done for. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple. You don't need to be no dribble guys to do this. You don't need any crazy badges. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't even really need no, like, as you can see, you don't even need a crazy ball handle to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, but yeah, bro, that's really all it is. Um, Other than that, that's really all I have for y'all for this video. Now, once again, um, I will be dropping way more content soon. And I got so much in store for y'all, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate y'all so much bro like all the love i've been getting over these past couple of months the subscribers everything you know what i'm saying the comments bro well, i genuinely appreciate y'all and i got so much in store for y'all you know i've been grinding outside of uh you know youtube and things like that but everything i'm doing bro is because i want to really give y'all like the best content i can give y'all you know what i'm saying and this is just youtube bro like I have things in store like giveaways that I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start streaming very soon. You know what I'm saying? Like, so look, just stay tuned. But all I wanna say is I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. And if y'all use this move, bro, let me know, man. For real, just don't use it against me because I promise I'm gonna probably rage quit or something. <laughs> like y'all say. But yeah, other than that, bro, that's all I have for y'all today, man. Neighborhood Cash and we out.